1973, Daytona 24 Hours, 1973, le 24 ore di Daytona. At the pole position was Mike Halewood with the number two Gulf Mirage Ford. At the pole, c'era Mike Halewood con il numero due Gulf Mirage. There's the number 30 Camaro, our number 30, il numero 30 Camaro della San Remo restaurant. And the number 9 Camaro, il numero 9 Camaro, also a Daytona entry. Altri di Daytona Beach. C'erano 11 Camaro nella gara. 11 Camaros in the race. This is the number 20 GTB, driven by Merzario, did not finish. The identical 21 Ferrari, driven by Chinetti, Grossman and Shaw, and the 22 Ferrari GTB, driven by Minter and Francois Migo, finished. The 21 Ferrari was fifth overall, and the 22 Ferrari was second overall. Unfortunately, there was no original soundtrack. You have to use your imagination. Non c'era audio in questi film. Bisogna usare un po' di fantasia. As far as Pileggi remembers, Pileggi remembers, the engine was a balanced and blueprinted 350 Chevy with Chevrolet performance heads. The heads were ported, polished, and CC'd for flow. The intake manifold was an aluminum high-rise unit from GM Performance, and the exhaust was probably a smoky unit ram. The carb was a Holley 850 double pump unit. The pistons were polished and balanced 12.5 to 1 high dome Chevy performance pistons. The crankshaft was a steel unit for high RPMs. Le specifiche tecniche, per quanto si ricorda, eh, Pileggi. Siamo più di, sono passati più di 35 anni e un po' dura di ricordare. Mio fratello Guido ha avuto la Camaro per un numero di anni, aveva un numero di ricambi, è difficile ricordarsi tutte le alternative. Here's one of the stops. Con questa Camaro, mio fratello Guido ha vinto nella regione centrale di Florida un campionato di sua categoria nel 1972, 75, 76 e 77. My brother Guido had the Camaro for a number of years and had a number of spares and alternate configurations in terms of engine, transmission, and rear-end ratio. It's difficult to remember now what happened 30, over 35 years ago. With this Camaro, Guido won his class in the Florida Central region in 72, 75, 76, and 77. The previous owner of the Camaro, Florida Senator David McLean, raced the car at Daytona and Sebring in 1968, 69, and 70, but either did not finish or finished in the high 20s. There's the Corvette number five, driven by Heinz and Bob McClure. It finished third overall. Here's another stop. We stopped every 45 minutes, approximately. Each driver took two turns, and therefore drove 90 minutes. That's Aero coming out, and I'm going in the car. Ci fermavamo circa ogni 45 minuti, il pilota faceva due turni. In questo caso però era la fine del turno di Dubé, lui è uscito e io sono entrato. Qui un'altra fermata. Our pit stops were typical, I would say, for an experienced, although amateur team, during an endurance race. Basically do everything that's necessary and do it correctly. Saving a few seconds really doesn't matter. 
We did use hard rubber endurance tires that we only changed for the blowouts. Le nostre fermate direi che erano tipiche per una squadra di dilettanti che però avevano un'esperienza per questo tipo di gara. L'importante era di fare tutto e fare tutto bene. Risparmiare qualche secondo non, non era importante. We can be thankful that our mechanic Arnold Pelleggi during a pit stop while changing the front disc pad noticed that the cracked discs I don't know where the Camaro would have finished if during a hard break one of these discs shattered. Possiamo ringraziare il capo meccanico Pileggi che durante una delle fermate al box, mentre che cambiava le pastiglie delle freni anteriori, ha notato che i dischi erano inclinati e così siamo poi rimasti fermi per circa 45 minuti per cambiare i dischi. There we go. For the 24 hours, we completed 532 laps with an average speed of approximately 85 miles per hour. Each of the racing laps actually had an average of almost 100 miles an hour. Per le 24 ore abbiamo fatto 532 giri con una media di quasi 140 km all'ora. Questo malgrado tutte le fermate. Le nostre giri durante la gara avevano una media di quasi 160 km all'ora. I had moved to Italy in 70, in 1970 and was listed as Torino, Italy, while my brother Guido and Era were listed at Daytona Beach. The main sponsor was my brother's restaurant, the San Remo, where you could get a good meal at a reasonable price. Io sono cresciuto a Daytona, però ho traslocato in Italia nel 1970 ed ero indicato come Torino. Invece mio fratello era erano era Dubai, erano indicati come Daytona Beach. la Ferrari, la Porsche vincitrice, 